الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم و بارک علی نبینا و حبیبنا محمد و لآلہ و صحبہ اجمعین دے برادرز و سسٹرز The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said an authentic hadith reported by Imam Muslim in his Sahih on the authority of Abu Ayyub al-Ansari radiyallahu ta'ala an man saama Ramadan thumma atba'ahu sitan min shawwal kana ka siyam al-dahr that whosoever fasts Ramadan and then follows it up with six days from shawwal then he will have the reward of fasting a whole year. Another authentic hadith reported by Imam Ahmad and others on the authority of Thawban radiyallahu ta'ala an the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Siyamu shahri Ramadan bi asharati ashhur that fasting the month of Ramadan is like fasting ten months wa sittatu ayyamin ba'dahunna bi shahrain and fasting six days after it is like fasting two months فَذَٰلِكَ تَمَامُ سَنَةً And that is a complete year. And as we know that الْحَسَنَةُ بِأَشْرِ أَمْثَالِهَا That each good deed, each good deed is multiplied by ten times. So this is why fasting the month of Ramadan which is equivalent to fasting ten months and fasting six days of Shawwal is equivalent to fasting sixty days. Six times ten sixty, which is two months. This is like fasting a whole year. So this is a great virtue and a great reward which we need to obtain. And we cannot let it go by. We must seize this opportunity, dear brothers and sisters. And this tremendous reward of fasting a whole year by the fadl and the vir- and by the fadl, the grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a person who does this after fasting a whole month of Ramadan and then he goes to fast the six days of Shawwal. This shows you the strength of this person's Iman. And it shows you how much he loves the obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it shows you how much, he, how eager and keen he is to perform acts of worship. And these six days of Shawwal, dear brothers and sisters, that come after Ramadan, they are like a voluntary act of worship after an obligatory one. And this is why it has been legislated to fast them straight after Ramadan, in the month coming after Ramadan, which is Shawwal. Because they are like the, the Sunnah Ba'adiyya, Ba'd al-Fard. They are like the voluntary act of worship after the obligatory. So just like, for example, if, I, if you pray dhuhr, the four rakat of dhuhr, after dhuhr, you have some rawatib, you have sunnah, uh, sunnah prayer, you have sunnah prayer, you can pray after dhuhr. Likewise, you have sunnah prayer, uh, the two sunnahs uh, after maghrib, the two sunnahs after isha, likewise, the two sunnahs after dhuhr. So in the same way, we have these six of Shawwal after Ramadan. So if there is any knocks, any deficiency, any shortcomings in our Ramadan, then these six days of Shawwal can yani, cover this deficiency, can make up for this deficiency, can make up for this shortcoming. And as you know, dear brothers and sisters, on the Day of Judgment, when we are being held when we are accounted and held accountable and questioned about our acts of worship we performed in this dunya the prayer the fasting and so on and so forth first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will look at is our prayer and if it's deficient Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will look if there are any voluntary prayers that we prayed that can make up for the deficiency in our obligatory prayers. And this will happen for all the acts of worship. So these six days of Shawwal, which are connected to Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated them for us to gain extra reward 
and for us to make up for any shortcomings, any deficiencies in our Ramadan. However, the question that arises here, dear brothers and sisters, is that if someone still has days missing from Ramadan, for example, he might have been sick in Ramadan, might have been traveling or woman on a, on a period and couldn't fast all the days. Now they've got days pending. They've got days to make up from Ramadan. Can you fast six days of Shawwal before you fast, uh, before you make up for the, the, missing, uh, the, the missed days of Ramadan? Then there's a difference of opinion amongst the scholars concerning this. And what is the correct opinion is no, you cannot. You, f you first must make up all the days of Ramadan that you have missed and then fast the six days of Shawwal. And this is why it's mentioned in this hadith. The Prophet ﷺ mentioned two conditions in this hadith. The Prophet ﷺ said, Man saama Ramadan, whosoever has fasted Ramadan. Now, if someone has not fasted all the days of Ramadan, either 29 or 30, can we say that he's fasted Ramadan? No. If he's got days to make up, can we say he's fasted Ramadan? No, he hasn't fasted Ramadan. He's only fasted part of Ramadan. The second condition, the Prophet said, Thumma atba'ahu sitan min shawwal. Then after that, he follows it up with six days of shawwal. Yani after Ramadan. Now, if someone hasn't made up the days that he missed in Ramadan, can we say, that he's fasting six years of shawal after Ramadan? No, we cannot say that. But if he chooses to do so, and he fasts six years of shawal without making up days of Ramadan, he's in fact fasting in the middle of his Ramadan. He's not fasting after Ramadan. So it's very clear from this hadith that if you want to gain this reward of fasting the whole year, then this hadith only applies to those individuals who've either fasted the whole of Ramadan and those individuals who have fasted Ramadan and then made up the days that they missed. And then they fast the six days of Shawwal. This hadith only applies to them. And it doesn't apply to a person who still hasn't made up the, six day, uh, the, the missing days of the missed days of Ramadan. So that is a very important point. And as a scholar said that if you do it, you're not going to get that reward. You're not going to get that reward of fasting a whole year. So the first thing we need to do is make up the missed days of Ramadan and then fast the six days of Shawwal. And inshallah ta'ala, this is the correct opinion. Okay, another question. When should we start fasting the six days of Shawwal? When should we start doing this? And the second question is that, is it better to fast the six days consecutively, one after the other in one go? Or is it better to split them up? Now, uh, as for when we, should fa when we should start fasting six days, then we should start fasting the six days as soon as we can. Because rushing to do good is always better. And this shows you that you love ibadah. It shows you how much you rush and race towards good. And also you never know, you know, subhanallah, what can happen. You might become ill, you might travel, something might come up, and you might not be able to do the six days of shawwal if you keep delaying. So it's always better to start fasting them as soon as you can. Except as some of the fuqaha, some of the scholars have mentioned, if there is a maslaha, if there is a benefit in delaying that, then it is better to delay it. For example, as you know, Eid al-Fitr is only one day, but according to the customs of many of the people and traditions and their norms, you know, Eid goes on for two, three days. And what I mean by that is that the next day after Eid, for a couple of days after Eid, people are still visiting each other, they're inviting each other, you have guests around, you know. So in this case, it is better not to fast. You know, enjoy your Eid with your family, 
enjoy your Eid with your guests. If you're a guest, it doesn't look good that you're fasting and they're not. If you're a host, it doesn't look good if you're fasting and, and your guests are not. So in this case, it's better to delay the start of fasting the six days of Shawwal. If there is no maslaha, if there is no benefit in delaying them, then the best thing to do is start fasting them as soon as you can. Okay, how about, uh, is it better to fast the days all in one go or is it better to split them up? Again, it is better to fast them in one go. Again, that shows that you are eager and keen to perform good deeds and that you love obedience. And again, you don't know what might happen. You know, something might come up and you might not be able to complete the six days of Shawwal. So it's better to fast them all in one go. And subhanAllah, if while fasting six days of Shawwal, uh, the six days of Shawwal coincide with Monday and Thursday, then this is more virtuous. Because as you know, fasting on Monday and Thursday, on, on Mondays and Thursdays, the deeds, the actions of the children of Adam are presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So isn't it, isn't it good that we are fasting when our deeds are presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on Mondays and Thursdays? So if one of the days of one of the six days of Shawwal or the days of Shawwal coincide with Monday and Thursday, then it's more virtuous. However, please don't forget that if you also want the if you make the niyyah, the intention that you are fasting Shawwal and you are fasting Monday or Thursday, then you will get double reward. You must make that intention that you are fasting Shawwal, six days of Shawwal, and that you are fasting on a Monday or a Thursday. Then you will get the reward for fasting the days of Shawwal and you will get the reward of uh, Monday or the Thursday. You will get double reward, inshallah ta'ala. Now, okay, there's another question here. Okay, sorry, before we go to the next question. Now, if uh, you cannot fast them all six days in a row, of course you can split them up. Of course you can split them up. There is no harm in that. And if you are going to split them up, dear brothers and sisters, then isn't it better for you that you fast Monday, Thursday, Monday, Thursday, Monday, Thursday, three weeks? In that way, you will get the reward. You will get two rewards. The reward for fasting the six days of Shawwal and the reward of fasting Mondays and Thursdays. However, if you can't do it either this way, you can't even do it like this, then you can fast any six days from Shawwal. Whatever is easy for you. And inshallah, you will get the reward of fasting six days of Shawwal after Ramadan, which is fasting a whole year. Inshallah, bi idhnillahi jalla wa ala. Another thing here, is let's say for example we mentioned that you cannot fast the six days of Shawwal until you have made up that any days that you missed from Ramadan if you missed any days from Ramadan. Why? Because the six days of Shawwal are connected to Ramadan. They are connected to Ramadan. Okay? But what about let's say for example during the year you want to fast Yom Arafah. You want to fast Yom Ashura. You want to fast Mondays and Thursdays. You want to fast three days from every month. You want to fast the three white days. Can you fast these days without having the days of Ramadan made up, any days that you missed have, having them made up? Then the scholars said, yes, you can. And there is no harm in that. And you will inshallah get the reward for that, even if you haven't made the days of Ramadan. Because the days of Ramadan are not connected to these fasts. They are, yes, they are connected to the six days of Shawwal, but not these fasts. So inshallah you'll get the reward. And what is even better, as the scholars have mentioned, is that when you do fast those days, Yom Arafah, Yom Ashura, Mondays and Thursdays, then do with a double intention. Do with the intention of fasting those days and do with the intention of making up any missed days of Ramadan. Then you will have made up the missed days of Ramadan and inshallah you will get the reward of also fasting Yom Ashura, Yom Arafah, fasting Mondays and Thursdays, fasting three days from every month. Uh, the, the three white days, and so on and so forth. So this is one way, dear brothers and sisters, 
we, by the Fadl of Allah Azza wa Jal, can get the reward of fasting the whole year or our entire lifetime. It is to fast the six days of Shawwal after having completed the month of Ramadan. Another way, dear brothers and sisters, if you want to know how we can get the reward of fasting our entire lifetime, is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Sawmu thalathatin min kulli shahar wa Ramadan ila Ramadan sawmu dhahr The fasting three days from every month, any three days from every month, and from one Ramadan to Ramadan is like fasting your entire lifetime. This is narrated by Imam Muslim on the authority of Abu Qatada radiyallahu an. And another hadith reported by An-Nasai authenticated by Imam Al-Albani rahimahullah on the authority of Abu Hurair radiyallahu an. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Shahru sabr wa thalathatu ayyamin min kulli shahr sawmu dhahr. The fasting the month of sabr, patience, which is the month of Ramadan. And three days from every month is like fasting the entire, your entire lifetime. Subhanallah. So this is another way we can get reward of fasting the entire lifetime. Is by fasting three days from every month after having fasted Ramadan. Three days from every month. These three days can be any days from, you can split them up, you can do them together. What is better, however, is to fast the three white days, which is the 13th, 14th, 15th of every Islamic month. But if you cannot do that, you can fast any three months at any time in the month. Because as you know, al hasana to be ashri amthaliya, each good deed is multiplied by 10 times. So if you fast three days from every month, it's like you fasted 30 days, one full month. And then Ramadan as well. And then these days, then you fast the entire lifetime. So this is, these are two ways in which we can, alhamdulillah, fast the entire lifetime without actually fasting the, your entire lifetime. Allahu Akbar. And this is from the fadl and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ikhlas first and foremost. And then give us the tawfiq, the ability to fast these days of shawwal and to fast three days from every month so we can obtain this tremendous reward. Wallahu ta'ala a'ala wa a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barakla nabina Muhammad wa la alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.